It is being built based on the Wi-Fi 7 technology. This home antenna provides up to 90 degrees wireless signal coverage. The client needs to provide the internet service in the rural area. There are 10 houses in this area. He doesn't want to pull the fiber optic cables to connect all these houses since it's an open and large area. He plans to use the wireless technology to connect all these houses to one location and send the internet traffic from this location. It is a good idea to use the wireless technology. Since it's an open area, there's no much obstacle blocking the signal transmission and receiving. Moreover, the signal interference is quite small in this rural area. One thing he concerned is the reliability of this device. Since these devices need to work with the receiver on all these houses, if this device is failure, he's going to disconnect the internet service to all these houses. So how to set up this device on the town? Let's find out in this video. This is an industrial grade wireless bridge. It is being built based on the Wi-Fi 7 technology. This home antenna provides up to 90 degrees wireless signal coverage. If we put two wireless bridges together, we can have up to 180 degrees signal coverage. There are two network ports on this wireless bridge. One is the RJ45 network port. It supports PoE power over Ethernet. Another is the SFP slot. We can connect the fiber optic cable to this wireless bridge and establish the network connection. Both ports support 2.5 gigabit speed. We are going to separate the power and the data in this setup and use the PoE injector to power this wireless bridge and connect this wireless bridge to our code switch in the control room by using a fiber optic cable. Since the fiber optic cable is EMI immune, we don't need to concern the search protection on the fiber optic cable. Now let's power up this wireless bridge. This is an outdoor rating PoE injector. It takes the AC power between 100 volt to 240 volt and converts it to a standard PoE. This is a PoE output port. We also have a data port, but we are not going to use this data port. We'll use the fiber optic cable to connect our wireless bridges to the code switch in the control room. Now let me power up our wireless bridges. Remember to add this O-ring. And close this cap. Now let's go to the wireless bridge. Also need to add this orange. There's one important step to install this grant. We need to use a tool to fast the cat and the grant. So it's going to press this rubber and screw this rubber to generate high pressure to stop the water or moisture enter into these devices. One more thing about this PoE. This wireless bridge has implemented both standard and the passive PoE. We implement the passive PoE to deal with the solar power situation. But it makes these wireless bridges only work with the PoE or PoE+. Plus. It doesn't work with the PoE++ plus plus power supply unit. All right, the power is ready. Let's connect the data. This is a single mode fiber optic cable from the control. 
we need to connect this fiber optic cable to the SFP port on this wireless bridge. The SFP port is empty. We cannot connect the cable to this empty slot directly. We need one more device called SFP transceiver. The SFP transceiver will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. Since these wireless bridges support 2.5 gigabit speed, we will need to choose the SFP transceiver which supports 2.5 gigabit speed, not the general SFP transceiver which only supports 1.25 gigabit speed. Now I have installed the SFP transceiver to this wireless bridge. Let's connect the fiber optic cable. The O-ring looks a little bit different since this fiber optic cable is quite slim. Let's pass the cable through the cap and through this grant. Now let's make the connection. I install this grant. Also attach this O-ring to keep the water out. Since we need one port, we have another port not attached. We we'll use this blocker to block this port and close the cap. Just be sure to use the tool to fasten this run on the cap. All right, the setup is good on this wireless bridge. Let's look at what we have inside in this terminated box. Before we go to check the terminated box, I want to say we also need to ground this wireless bridge and the outdoor PoE injector properly. There's grounding port on this wireless bridge and the grounding port on this outdoor PoE injector. Now let's see what we have in this terminated box. The, this terminated box will manage the pre-made fiber optic cable from the control room and also manage the AC power input. The pre-made fiber optic cable is connected to a copper and we use a short patch code to link this fiber optic strand and connect it to our wireless bridge. And the AC power is fit to this brick and connect to this surge protector in parallel. And then we have the output from this brick. And we also have all the grounding part to lead to this ground output. Now let me turn on this brick. And just one more thing, we have this cup kept and we also have this locker to lock this kept properly to keep the water out. Now we can see the indicators on both power and the PoE indicator. And this wireless bridge is getting the power and the signal from this code switch in the control room. In the control room, we use this 12 port SFP plus fiber optical switch. It supports 12 tanky port, but just make sure we need to use the 2.5 gigabit speed SFP transceiver, but not the SFP plus transceiver. Otherwise, it's not going to work because we need to maintain both sides at the speed 2.5 gigabit speed. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a message in the comment section below.